Tonight, with just nine days left in President Trump's term, there are questions about the timeline for impeachment and which Florida lawmakers are for and against it. News 6's Eric Von Anken joins us. Eric, you've received responses from both sides. We asked every single local congressional lawmaker today, both Republicans and Democrats, for an interview. They either said no and directed us to a statement or they didn't say anything at all, except for one, Congressman Michael Waltz. In terms of the 25th Amendment, I just don't see that going anywhere. The vice president's been clear and the vice president's a, a, a key piece. You know, that he, he has to be on board with that, and, and, and he's been clear that he's not. U.S. Congressman Michael Waltz, a Republican who represents Volusia and Flagler County, said he was inside the Capitol Wednesday when the mob stormed in. When the Capitol policeman came back in, he told us there had been a breach, but when he came back in and said they had deployed tear gas right outside the door, uh, and, and I'm helping members of Congress put on gas masks, uh, that's when I knew this was very serious. He had been supporting the challenge to the election from Texas, but now says he supports the peaceful transition of power and not removing President Trump. In terms of the 25th Amendment, I just don't see that going anywhere. So it's unfortunate that instead of unifying us right now, Biden and the Democrats have chosen to use this as an opportunity to talk about ridiculous things like let's impeach a president who isn't going to be even in office. Uh, in, in about nine days. Senator Marco Rubio did that interview with Fox News yesterday, but neither he nor the other senator from Florida, Rick Scott, both Republicans, would do an interview with News 6 today. Rick Scott just tweeted this, though, quote, impeachment does nothing to help American families or bring our country together, end of quote. Both Democrat Congresswomen Stephanie Murphy and Val Demings say they support removing the president and still no response tonight from Republican Congressmen Bill Posey or Daniel Webster. In Altamont Springs, Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6.